Welcome. In this video, we're going to discuss the R series iPhone OS ebook engine that F Space Publications has put together. One of the biggest challenges for publishers uh, with the iPhone OS platforms, that being the iPhone, iPod Touch, and forthcoming iPad device, is how to sell content rich books on this platform. The new iBooks uh, application that Apple will be offering only supports EPUB um, as a format, which is quite limiting for some things. At the moment, books constitute one of the biggest categories in the iTunes App Store, and to deliver books there, you must make an application that wraps up your eBook, depending on how you're going to present it. One of our challenges was to look at how to take a graphic rich publication uh, for its internal structure such as this PDF which has a lot of colored graphs, um, images and graphic design styles and translate this into a similar experience on the iPhone and to be able to deliver this very quickly because we have a very large catalog of publications like this and we wanted to be able to deliver this to the iPhone where we believed a lot of users may be interested in having the pocket reference. So, what we've done is managed to translate that experience into something that looks identical. Fortunately, the iPhone is capable of rendering content in a number of different formats. It's just that by default you can't save it. So what we have here, or in the R series, is in fact a reproduction of the print-based publication, where you can zoom in to any particular content, or zoom out as the need might arise. If you wanted a quick reference on tables, you could easily do this. So with multi-touch, it is quite easy to navigate around reference documents, whether this be data or quick reads of things. A publication like this, which is a multi-column uh, text format and isn't really designed for small screen reading, is probably not a really good user experience but it is usable on the iPhone platform and the navigation allows uh, and zoom controls allow you to get at the content that you want quickly and view it on the small screen in a readable manner. You'll notice that it has a lot of options in terms of being able to look at things. You'll notice the quality of this image isn't so great. There is a memory limit uh, with the iPhone being both a physical device and I, Apple limit the size of applications in terms of their data uh, for download because of concerns about congesting cellular networks for data. So we have to process any documents um, that we receive to a format that is small enough for reproduction um, across this delivery platform as well as trying to preserve its readability. Not all documents uh, can be, as you can tell this is a 10 page, very graphically rich, but you can publish significantly um, larger um, publications from a print layout. Here's an example of one, and as you can tell it's very plain. This publication actually does have the blue graphic uh, designed border of this one we've looked at, but being 234 pages long, it was not feasible to keep that piece of graphic design in this reproduction, um, simply because um, it made it too um, big, and we've obviously had to make sure that all the graphics are downsampled. Fortunately, we can do that by a number of mechanisms, either with the original source document or um, with the likes of a PDF, we can actually control these within some limitations. As you can tell, 
the text here is quite readable and the zoom controls allow for a zooming to the content boxes that you are looking at uh, at the time. As you can tell, it neatly scales these and works with it quite well. And there's no extra work for us to do a lot of um, these um, snazzy things that you're seeing happening here. You can obviously rotate it to landscape and treat it um, the way that you might want to. So it's a fairly easy, it's our quickest method of getting a publication onto the iPhone. Um, if you want a more readable uh, experience with this quick conversion, it pays to do a single column text format. And if you can design it in such a way that the page neatly fits the sides and things, and with that zoom function you can get a very readable linear reading experience. Obviously because this is a double-sided publication, um, it has text sitting marginally different from page to page, so it doesn't get as good a linear experience as you'll notice here is potentially possible. So uh, just a quick tap and it'll line that back up. Quick tap and it goes back out and in, in this case. So it's quite easy to correct that, but we do recommend that people uh, who want publications put here very quickly do design them in a way that takes the advantage of the user platform. But if you've got 30 odd publications or brochures, annual reports, whatever they happen to be, it is quite easy to get these on quite quickly. Um, and we will do most of the work taking your documents refining them for the file size reproduction quality and then applying the things that needed to be done to get it on which with uh, the iTunes things are like the ICOM that it has as a application sitting on a desktop and some of the other things that Apple require which is a large icon preview shots of the application uh, there and there's some other information about rating. Um, obviously, there's they have concerns about violence, uh, drug use, gambling, and things like that. So that it gets a age rating for your document and things like that. And obviously, the description that might apply to it. Um, so this is a quick and easy way to publish an existing publication. We found that we do make uh, sales of these as paid applications and. Um, at a comparable level to selling uh, PDF um, ebooks or Moby Pocket or similar formats elsewhere. Um, at least this is a quick and easy method to get onto the iPhone and be able to allow users to use iTunes to buy your book directly um, from either yourself or a publisher operating on your behalf. As you can tell, there are a lot. Pretty much all these that you see here um, are ours, um, and we've got both books and utilities here. So the R series is an effective way to get any kind of publication um, that meets its general criteria across, and is a cost-effective means for free document distribution.